All right, lesson number three, now that we've created our bins and now that we've created our sequences, we're gonna start importing all of our footage. So whether you have one camera angle, two, three, four, or even five, you're gonna be able to follow along with this. Uh, let's get started. First, we organized and created bins for our audio and video footage. Then we created sequences for our edits to take place. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and start importing all of our footage. So the next step is to go ahead and open up your files folder and locate all of your footage that you want to use. Now, it should be organized, you know, into your audio files, your camera angle one, two, three, and four. Um, and we're going to be starting with whatever camera angle includes the most amount of people. All right. So if you have a stationary angle um, or a wide angle, it's often seen in podcasts that uh, just has everybody in the shot and it doesn't change, we're going to want to start with using that and importing that because it's not going to change, right? It's always going to work regardless of who's talking. So that's where we want to start. I'm going to go ahead and select the, in this case, three camera angles that I have for the wide shot or the three videos that I have for the wide shot and just go ahead and drag them um, directly into the full body folder here in Premiere Pro. All right, they're going to import. And if I open up that full body folder, now I double click on any one of those camera angles. I can see here we have our podcast. We have all three, uh, you know, guests, including the host for our podcast. All right, so that's step one. Now we can come back to our project, just navigating, you know, through these different folders here you'll see project. If at any point you don't see your project and you can't come back and find all your sequences and your footage, just come up to window and go ahead and make sure that project is selected. You can hover over projects and you can see, you know, these different folders that you have created uh, in these different bins and you can go ahead and make sure that they're selected. In this case, you can see they're all selected, right? And that's why I can see them and easily work with them, but it's very common for that to, you know, get lost or you accidentally close one. You don't know how to find it. So you can come back to that section of this tutorial um, to remind yourself of that. All right, next up, we can come back. We have camera angle one. I'm not sure why there's so many different videos in this folder just for these podcasts that we're going to be editing, but you can take all your footage from camera angle one or the person that is going to be talking the most probably. And we're going to do the same exact thing. We can just take all those videos and drag them directly into that folder that we created so that we know that we're organized um, and we know where all of our footage is in Premiere Pro. Okay. That went ahead and added to our project. So if we double clicked that and we went into any one of these folders, we'd be able to see you know, all of our camera angles from camera angle one. All right, coming back to our project, we're going to move on. We have camera angle two to work on. So we're going to drag all of our footage from that camera angle into our project, into its respective folder. And then we're going to end by dragging in camera angle three. All right, and once that imports, the final files that we need to worry about are the audio files. So locate your audio files. In this case, I just have one audio file and drag that right into audio. All right. Now, in the next video, once you're caught up here, we're going to be going and starting with the audio. I think it's really important to um, listen to the audio, edit the audio, make it sound good. So that when you're going through and editing your entire um, podcast, you're actually working with the audio, you know, that sounds good. Um, so step number one is going to be editing the audio and we're going to get into that shortly.